Hello, welcome everybody, right, to another Facebook Friday, another Ferlici Friday. I'm Amy Ferlici and I'm so happy to be here. I was like two weeks in a row. I haven't been able to do this in a really long time. I was looking at my calendar. I just flipped my calendar over to September because today is September 1st. Fall is coming. Thank goodness we're going to have a beautiful holiday Labor Day weekend here in Michigan anyway. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, Janice, hello. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you can join us. Um, so yeah, we're going to have lots and lots of fun today. Okay, this is a uh, product that I just think is so stinking cute. It is called the Le Shops Designer Series Paper Bonnie. Hello and thanks for the share. So I've got uh, five out of the six full sheets and then I've got this teeny tiny little baby sheet because I've used a bunch of this paper but I want to show you because this this paper I just honestly I love like it makes me hello Charlene welcome it makes me think of just kind of cute little downtowns maybe even somewhere in Europe where they have lots of the cute little like just the cute little boutique shops Teresa hello so anyway I just love this paper so there's I'm going to show you guys so we are playing with this today right this is what we're going to um, feature in our projects that we're going to make in just a little while uh, so anyway yes this is the first I'm going to actually show each of them individually because I just think they're so cute they're going to be backwards but you'll get the idea and then the other side is just kind of a nice um, stripe calypso coral misty moonlight or some of the colors featured in here um, maybe old olive I'm thinking maybe a boho blue uh, or maybe Baja not Baja blue what's it called balmy blue <laughs> that's an old one Baja blue I think um, but you can kind of see the shops in that one right there too all maybe that's kind of like a washed mm, are these? Yeah, I was like, I keep looking at that. Like, that's upside down. Here we go. The awnings are the right way now. Okay, so there's one side. Here's the other side. Teeny tiny little shops all over that one. And then some fun, um, like, little things that you might find in these shops, right? Like uh, bread, ice cream. Um, what is that? Maybe like a soup, some cute little forks and so on. So that's kind of a fun pattern. And then this one, oh, it's hard to tell, right? So it's um, I'm going to call it maybe Smoky Slate, um, kind of a just a cool pattern. I could see that being good for masculine cards. I'm always looking for like masculine card ideas, right? And then here's another um, shop piece here too. Look at how cute those little shops are. I love like the little awnings. Like it's always kind of been a dream to have a little shop like this. It's I don't think it's ever going to be a reality in terms of like downtown Alma can't really support like in terms of card making like I tried it for a few years and it was it was a good run um and I always thought like oh I want to do cute little like um uh like window displays and I did some but it's it's a lot of work too and you know in terms of doing everything else also um but just kind of fun to be like in a little downtown shop right so there's the back side of that one and then these are like a little stack of books and flowers and I'm not sure what the other is honestly you guys tell me <laughs> I'm looking at this trying to come up with it quickly and I'm not really it's almost like a little vase with a flower in it or you know like a little um like a little coke bottle or something right with a flower in it you know how they kind of do some fun eclectic things like that and then there's the back side of that one and then finally this was that one <laughs> little piece so you kind of get the idea right it's more shops but then i really like the back side of that designer series paper too so yeah this is like i said this is one of these um papers i didn't end up getting actually the stamp set or the dies so i kind of had some fun like playing with it um all on its own because i think the paper can really like stand all up on its own and you'll see what i did just made some really cute simple cards but like the designer series paper does all the work for us right so I'm gonna have some fun with that in a little bit and what else do we have going on oh okay so holiday catalog it's almost live I really I think last year it was I think we were able to pre-order in July and then it went live to customers in August. So this September, especially September 6th, it's not until next Wednesday that customers can order out of this catalog. So it feels like it's really late. So I bet you guys are all just dying to put your orders in right from the new holiday mini catalog. I can't even open this catalog yet, not until uh, next Wednesday. And then you guys can see the inside of it. Uh, but in the meantime, if you need one of these catalogs, I've seen your posts on here too. If you commented that you need a holiday, holiday catalog, a holiday mini catalog, please let me know. I'm happy to get one sent out to you. That is, I think, the most fun way to shop um, is to kind of sit and peruse through the catalog, look at the ideas that are in there, come up with your own ideas and kind of go from there. Um, so with that being said, 
We've got one month left in the Stampin' Up! year. So uh, September 30th is the last day of Stampin' Up!'s year. We start a new year again on October 1st. So it's kind of a different, not a calendar year, um, but that's their, that's their calendar or fiscal year, I guess I would say. So I'm putting it out there. I am trying to, I have like all of a sudden, I'm like this goal of mine. I've been watching like sales get closer and closer. And I've had people ask me, it's funny because I laugh because I've had people ask me, are you close to the million dollars? Are you going to be able to do like a million dollar stamp set? I'm like, oh, I've got a ways to go, ladies. Let me tell you, I'm almost, I'm almost halfway there. So right now my goal is to try to reach $400,000 in sales by the end of this month. So by September 30th, I'm like crossing my fingers, hoping you guys have seen or are like super excited about this holiday catalog. Want to put your big whopping orders in to get your holiday projects started. I would love for you to order through me. I have a new host code that is um, up on my blog. I'll share that with you guys in just a little bit. But like I said, my hope is to get to $400,000 in sales by the end of September so that I can, it's kind of just this goal of mine to do it by the end of this fiscal year, this Stampin' Up! year. The thing is that I will tell you, I need, I wrote this number down because I was like, oh, this is a very lofty goal, guys. I need almost $5,300 in sales in this month alone. I'll share with you that I typically do, like that's more than double what I normally do in sales in a month. So that's a huge, like super lofty goal. But like I said, I thought, you know, we have been like dying, waiting to get our hands on this catalog and order from it. So I'm like, maybe there are some big orders out there, um, you know, things that you just know that you're gonna wanna get to um, play with for the holiday season coming up, right? For your Halloween projects, for your fall projects, your Thanksgiving, I'm grateful for you projects, and then all your holiday project needs. So I would love for you to consider me in terms of ordering using that host code. If you do that, I've got all my regular Facebook Live uh, freebies that you get, like the cards that I'm gonna demonstrate in a little bit. Uh, you get to pick from the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, you get your name in the drawing. And then I'm also throwing in for every $50 order, you're gonna get an additional 10 free handmade cards. So the two that I make today, and then 10 more random ones I've got, and they're not all gonna be current, I will warn you of that, because I've got a stash from, you know, you'll see some blast from the past cards in there too. But that's my um, way of saying thank you for supporting me and hoping to reach that sales goal of $400,000 uh, by the end of September. So like I said, I, I need a lot in sales more than I do, more than I've done in a long time in a month. I will tell you that. Uh, so I think it's possible. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, if you have any inclination, I'd love for you to order through me and um, help me reach that goal. So yes. And again, get all your great holiday catalog stuff too, because I know there's so many cute things in there. I can't wait to start playing with more of those and sharing those with you guys too. Um, okay, so then don't forget also the designer series paper share. I have my little flyer right here. I've been putting this in orders, um, posting online. So holiday catalog mini paper share. It's $51 to get a quarter of a pack of all 15 of the designer series papers. And it also includes the melon mambo and granny apple green foil sheets. And then there was another one, well, the glow in the dark specialty paper, and then the oxidized copper paper. I think everything else is truly designer series paper, you know, front and back, two sided, very pretty paper. For example, and I know I showed this one last time, but this is like to kind of whet your appetite, right? The dab, hello, the, what is this one called? The all about autumn designer series paper. So the six by six, how can I, can I show you guys this? Maybe I'm like, I feel like I'm holding it the wrong way. What if I go, if I go, well, let's see, you guys will, oh, you can kind of see, right? Like that, right? So just to uh, kind of whet your appetite, right? You could get this, oh, I love those pumpkins, right? Oh my gosh, I have got to leave this out to remind myself. This is what I'm gonna play with next. Maybe you'll see this on the next Facebook Live. We'll see, right? But anyway, beautiful pack of paper. You get a quarter of a pack of this paper and 14 other papers too in the Holiday Catalog Designer Series Paper Share. $51 orders. My first order is going in on Wednesday, September 6th. As soon as I get it and cut it and get it all packed and I'll have it out on the porch, I'll ship it out to you. It's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. I threw this out there and people are taking advantage of it too. If you um, get the class to go kit, um, which I'm working on, I'll have that one for September coming up shortly. Um, so if you order a class to go kit, if you're part of the in color club, the core color club, um, was there something else? 
anyway, anytime you have something else you're shipping to you, I love to be able to um, put those things together and help you um, save on shipping, right? So it's just into $10 priority mail shipping and you can get as much in there as we can possibly fit, right? So if there's anything else you want to add to your order, let me know and we can put it all in there and save on your shipping. And hello, Miss Deb. It is a beautiful day, isn't it? I took my puppy Stormy on a walk earlier and I was telling him we're going to go on another walk today, dude. Maybe, maybe even a couple because it's one of those most perfect days around here which we love right okay let's see so yeah holiday catalog paper share let me know you can comment right here i go back through all of these comments on our facebook live um and make sure you know i've read them all and seen them all so you can comment right here and let me know if you are interested in that paper share and thanks for the sharing of the video deb i appreciate that um okay so let's see i think let's jump right in we are gonna do our first drawing okay i'm trying to there we go. Okay, first drawing. Oh, for what? For what? For what? For what? We are, let's see, we have the pastel adhesive backed sequins. This is what we are giving away today on our Facebook Live. If you share this Facebook Live video, or if you signed up for my email list, or if you shared the class to go kit post. Okay, so one lucky winner of the, oh, I love those two, those sequins, those pastel sequins. And I love the adhesive backed part too. That's like a major thing for me. I love that they have the little mini glue dots on there um, for us to use. So let's see, what do we have? Oh, Miss Bonnie, she's so lucky. I feel like Bonnie won last week too. I always laugh about because I think the Bonnies, both the Bonnies won last week. So congratulations, Bonnie. You are the winner of the adhesive back, the pastel adhesive back sequin. So congratulations. I will get those sent out to you. You know what I realized? I gotta grab one thing over here. There we go. Okay, so I'm back in business. Sorry about that. Okay, I get rid of those names, get ready for the next drawing. In the meantime, on our next Facebook Live, which is gonna be two weeks from today, I've got next Friday, I've got the Simple Beautiful card class down at the stamp, or not the stamp studio, but at the Peace Lutheran Church here in Alma. So I'm spreading it out a week because that gets to be a lot when I do Facebook Live and card class in the same day. So no Facebook Live next week. So we will be back live. I guess that's going to be on the 15th, on September 15th. Um, let's see. I'm going to throw it out there. I'm celebrating a birthday on September 13th. It's I think 13 is a lucky. <laughs> yes, you're just floored that you won again, Bonnie. I know you are so lucky. I tell you what, you should buy your lottery tickets for sure because you never know what could happen. You have you definitely have that luck of the Irish, even if you're not Irish, right? Um, so yeah, anyway, so celebrate how old am I going to be? 2003. I was born in 70. So that's 53. Okay. I'm going to be 53 years old on September 13th. So that's kind of fun. And then two days later, we'll do Facebook live on uh, Friday, September 15th will be our next Facebook live. And we will give away, these are the adhesive backed sparkle gems, which I love these things. And these are going to be great, like for your kind of um, fall and holiday projects too. So we've got kind of, it looks like kind of a champagne color and then kind of a black sparkle and then a silver sparkle. So these are beautiful. We'll give these away on our next Facebook Live, sharing this Facebook Live video, signing up for my email list, which the link is above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded, and then also sharing the class to go can post. Your name will be in the drawing to win those beautiful, what are we calling them again? The adhesive backed sparkle gems. Okay. I feel like I'm like dancing around. I don't know. It's such a, I think it's, it's going to be a nice long weekend. It's going to be so beautiful here in Michigan. I'm just super excited about that. Um, good warm weather too, which a lot of times Labor Day. So Lily's birthday was actually this week on Wednesday the 30th. And there's something, I guess now, because I'm like more thinking about it, right? Because she has a birthday. But I feel like the end of August, um, it's always very questionable whether it's going to be like really nice and hot and still summer or whether it's feeling Feeling like fall like some years Lily's birthday has been nice beautiful we always seem to try to get away go up north or something and it well, we've had years where it's been beautiful and then other years where it's been pretty crisp and cool so um yeah we had some kind of weather like that but not over her birthday her birthday was beautiful this week too so that was awesome got to go see her actually my sister and my dad and I uh, my kids are both down in uh, Grand Rapids area so that's like an hour and a half drive from here so my dad and my sister and 
and I, we all hopped in the car and drove down to Grand Rapids last night and had dinner with my kids and my sister's daughter. Her other daughter had a meeting, so she wasn't able to come, uh, but it was great to see them and celebrate Lily and her birthday too. So yeah, just a beautiful night for a drive. And the moon was like massive. Did you guys see the moon last night? It was absolutely huge. So that was kind of cool to uh, be able to enjoy that on our drive back home too. So, um, okay, yeah, so let's see. Oh, quick reminder, um, Danielle, hello, welcome, welcome. Um, anyone that's in my downline or anyone that is a demonstrator, make sure that you know um, that September 30th, again, is the end of the Stampin' Up! year, and that's when they do what's called retitling. So if you are meeting your title requirements, so Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 enrolling 12-month sales, um, Silver, which is one team member and $3,600 in rolling 12 month sales silver elite which means you have one silver demonstrator in your team four other team members and seventy two hundred dollars in rolling 12 month sales those are kind of the requirements so back to bronze elite that's the big one where you get your 25 percent discount eighteen hundred dollars in rolling 12 month sales so take a look at your numbers stampin up has just rolled over you know we just finished august yesterday we got to give them a couple of days but probably by early to mid next week you'll be able to look at your reports and and see where are you at? Are you with September sales meeting your um, title requirement or do you need to do a little additional to make sure you keep your status and your title? Because the cool thing is, so for example, that Bronze Elite, the $1,800 enrolling 12 month sales, your 25% discount instead of a 20% discount or income, however you wanna look at that. Um, if you make sure you're at $1,800 enrolling 12 month sales on September 30th, you keep that title for a whole nother year. Even if your sales dip below $1,800 after October 1st, you know, throughout the year, if it's as of September 30th, you're meeting your requirement, you can kind of bounce up and down throughout the whole year and still get those benefits. So it's a great thing to make sure that you are aware of. Anyone in my team, I've been trying to communicate that or anyone at all, any demonstrator that is watching, make sure that you're aware of that because you've got 30 days now to get your sales or um, team member levels where they need to be to keep your status, your title too, okay? So something to keep in mind. If you have any questions on that too, please let me know. You can always contact Demonstrator Support as well and they can help walk you through where you're at as well, okay? Um, oh, so quick thank you for everyone. Diane, hello, that participated in the Super Summer Giveaway. So my little flyer that I was putting in orders as well. This is something that we did all summer long. So all of June, all of July, and all of August. And now I have a big task to go back through and get entries in here. Make sure I've got all my entries in here for one event or one entry for each event that you attended, two entries for every $50 that you spent. That included online, at classes, to-go kit classes, um, in-color club, any of those things. If you spent $50 or more in product, your name went in that drawing two times. The awesome thing, and I loved this, all the participation, like the last push to get in there with um, posting a picture of a project right here to our Facebook group. You got two entries in the drawing every time you posted a picture of a project and used that hashtag super summer giveaway. Um, also two entries if you brought a new guest to class, Three entries if you joined a club, including Paper Pumpkin, In Color Club, Simple Beautiful Card Club, and Scrapbook Club. Five entries if you bought the starter kit, and five entries if you held a private party or class. So like I said, tomorrow is my plan to uh, go through, make sure I've got all the names in there, get them all ready to go. I have, my, I have ordered some things already, and then I've got a few more coming, so we're gonna do that drawing two weeks from today for the Super Summer Giveaway. We'll do that on September 15th. So watch for that. We'll be doing that in just two weeks from today, right? We'll do that drawing. So, but again, thank you, especially for all of your posting and participation right here. I love that. And I truly appreciate that you guys, um, you know, wanted to put all those posts up here. And I would love for you to continue that too. We'd love to see what you guys are up to, sharing what you're doing um, and just, yeah sharing what you're making and playing with that kind of inspires others. Um, it's funny how many times, you know, you see something in the catalog, maybe it doesn't really strike you, and then you see somebody make something, and you're like, oh my gosh, I love that. I want that too, right? So lots of fun there. So hello, Philomena. Thanks for joining us. Welcome, welcome. Um, okay, let's see. Another quick reminder, one day crafting retreat is coming up. It's soon, it's like a little over a month from now. So on Saturday, October 7th, 
from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., the Peace Lutheran Church right here in Alma, you get uh, a six-foot table space, a goodie bag valued at over $30, lunch and dinner, snacks and candy buffet, make and takes. I'm going to show you how to use some of the items in your goodie bag in your make and takes. Table treats. I love to make little treats for everybody. Put them on your table. Uh, opportunity to shop from the buy one, get one free sale and just 12 hours of lots and lots of fun. It is, let's see, what's my price? $64 for the entire day. Uh, RSVPs are due by no later than Monday, September 18th, which is coming up like, oh my gosh, in just a couple weeks. So make sure that you're aware of that. Saturday, October 7, one day retreat. Make sure you RSVP and prepay. Um, I guess it's 17 days from today, right? On Monday, September 18th is the last day to RSVP for that. So I still have lots of room. I feel like it's a little, maybe it's a little early to be doing that one day retreat. It was the I had a couple of dates that I could do in October and the one that I really wanted at the end of the month, there was something already happening at the church. So I couldn't do it then. So I had to do it earlier in October. I'm just hoping that um, you guys are all ready to have some fun with us and come participate um, in that one day retreat. So if you have any questions, let me know on that also. Okay. Um, okay. I think we are ready to do our next drawing. I'm going to just scoot these things over here okay not my notes i did that last time i moved my notes and then i was like oh my gosh what am i doing next i can't even remember i have to have my notes right okay so here we go we are going to do our drawing for this is such a cute stamp set this is the pick of the patch a cute little um halloween and fall i would say both stamp set right um if you ordered through me you are automatically going to get both of these cards that i demonstrated i love these cards too this was the earthen textures bundle um these are the cards that i demonstrated on our last facebook live right so you get those as a thank you you also got to pick from uh, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment for August. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and do our drawing for that Pick Up a Patch stamp set. Okay, so you guys, I'm telling you, you have really, really good odds of winning this drawing. You're going to laugh. Um, just not very many names in here, right? So really good chances of um, winning on this Facebook Live um, through me here in this drawing. So, okay. Miss Kathy Hilliard, congratulations, Kathy. You are the winner of the Pick of the Patch stamp set. So thank you for your order. Um, I appreciate that very much. Okay, I'm gonna scoot those things out of the way. So like I said, on our next Facebook Live, two weeks from today, I'm trying to see what all do I have here, right? Um, okay, get all my things. Okay. Oh yeah, so two weeks from today, right? We are going to give away, if you place an online order through me, $50 or more, you're gonna get your name in the Rustic Crate stamp set drawing. Uh, so let's see, what do we have? We've got every day with you is better. Oh, I love that sentiment, right? Blessed beyond measure for you and good things take time. And then look at all that beautiful imagery in the Rustic Crate stamp set, right? Okay, so put an order in through me, use the host code, your name will go in the drawing to win the Rustic Crate stamp set. You also get to pick from... Let me see here. What are we doing? Um, it's this one right here. I was trying to figure out what my free embellishment is. Yeah, because those were the ones we're going to give away. Okay, so yeah, so you get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for September, or these are beautiful. These are called the Faceted Gems Trio Pack. So there's kind of um, like a darker silver gray, a lighter silver, and I'm going to say Coastal Cabana. It looks like the, my wall back there, right? So this is your free embellishment for the month. So you get to pick either one of these, PDF tutorial or the free embellishment. Your name is in the drawing. You're going to get the cards I'm going to demonstrate in just a few moments, and you also get 10 free additional cards when you order online through me using the host code, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, and again, trying to reach my $400,000 in sales mark by the end of September. I'm just really wanting to get that in before the end of the year. Um, yeah, maybe this is funny, but um, then when we, I'm hoping to go to um, the onstage live event in Houston in March, and then they always do recognition. And so I'd be able to walk across the stage for my $400,000 in um, sales too, if I meet it by September 30th. So that's kind of why it's a goal of mine. I mean, I could, you know, if I do it in October, that's all right too. Um, but I thought I'm just going to throw it out there and see what happens. But again, I need like more than double what I normally do in sales. So I'm asking you to dig deep, uh, you know, whatever you need to order out of that holiday catalog, go ahead and do that. Use this host code I'm going to give you in just a sec. Um, and yeah, you can get 
and on all this free stuff too. Okay, um, all right, let's see, I think, oh yeah, I was gonna show those also. Okay, so we are going to, I'll show you that in just a sec, right? I'm gonna show you my scrapbook pages. I wanna show you what we've been up to at scrapbook class and then um, we will make our project. So turn your heads away. We are flying through the air. Hi, Debbie, hello, welcome, welcome. Glad you can join us from Southwest Michigan. It was just kind of down in your neck of the woods, Grand Rapids area last night, okay. So here we go. These are a couple, two sets of scrapbook pages. So we made, we just had scrapbook class um, this week on Tuesday night. So we make three pages at class each month. We actually made this page last month. So can you guys see there's the, I don't know if it all fits in there, right? There's kind of top and bottom. So we, we made this single page spread last month. And then we made the other side of this spread. Spread. I guess I'll say the other single page spread. We made this one. So it's kind of fun. It says smile today because you're awesome. Love that night of navy ribbon, right? The little sparkly, the little sparkly gem. And then this, um, I can't remember the name of the designer series paper, but yes, all from our annual catalog, the Boho Blue Cardstock. So some very simple pages right there, right? And then we also made these two pages. So we made that single page spread and then this two page spread. I'll show you both of these. So we've got, this is kind of a great sentiment, right? That says time together is the sweetest or time spent together is the sweetest. And I thought um, just kind of uh, that sunflowery look um, was very appealing, like end of August, September time frame, kind of fall feeling, right? So there's one and we've got the little, um, some of those, I love those, um, the neutrals um, sequins, I think those are like an adhesive back sequin right there. And then here is the other. So here's the other half of this two page spread. And this one I had to, oh, I like to kind of curl these up a little bit too. Um, had to use the daisy stamp set, um, kind of wanted to make it look daisy slash, um, sunflower-ish, right? <laughs> so thank you. I'm glad you like these pages, Miss Philomena. I was happy with how they turned out as well. Okay. So, all right, we're going to scoot these things out of the way too. All right. I think we are ready. I'm going to grab a sip of water. I'm going to show you guys the host code here too. Brand new host code for... Mm. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> I appreciate that. So brand new host code for September, the KKJQU77E is our host code for the month of September. Okay, we're going to get our grid paper here too. And I'll make sure, because actually I think I said it's on my blog. It's not quite yet, but it will be. And if you use the August host code, it's fine too. It's still active, um, but I'll make sure to get that updated this afternoon too, because I think I kind of missed the boat on that one. All of a sudden, you know, that happens sometimes. You're like, ooh, whoa, August is gone. Flipping the calendar. It's September now. Wow, huh? Okay, so here is our first project. So like I said, I just wanted to feature that Les Shops designer series paper. And we used some fun. So these are the deckled rectangle dies. And then the brand new, the deckled circle dies too. And then I had not used this ribbon. This is a misty moonlight. What are we calling this? Um, get my glasses on here. We are calling this uh, an, a misty moonlight. It's an inner braid ribbon. Oh, that makes sense, right? Because there's kind of a braid inside there. Beautiful ribbon though, huh? Okay, so let me tell you, kind of walk you through what we did. Oh yeah, I used a bunch of stuff on here too, didn't I? Okay, here we go. These things. Okay, so let me give you dimensions and then we'll... Kind of go from there, right? Okay, so actually scoot these. Okay, so Calypso Coral card base, okay, um, or card stock, right? So eight and a half by 11 piece of Calypso Coral card stock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So that's our fold for our card. Then you can barely see, but this is another piece of Calypso coral cardstock that we embossed that measures five and a quarter by four inches. That's just going to lay right on there. And then we also, on the inside, used another piece of basic white cardstock that measures five and a quarter by four inches. So that's going to go right in there, right? And then I basically have scrap pieces of this is, is this called pecan pie? I think I'm going to turn around and look at my paper. 
Yeah, pecan pie. Okay, so scrap pieces of pecan pie cardstock for the backs, and then we're going to do our hello there stamp right on this one, right? And then here's another um, piece of designer series paper. We're going to cut that out with the deckled rectangled eyes. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let me grab all this stuff here. So let's do, we're going to get our little, little bit of stamping done here first. Okay. And I'll show you. So what did we use? I used a number of stamp sets. So the hello there comes from my darling details. Love, 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 love that stamp set. So hello there. And then you've got, um, I think I stamped this one, right? Oh, it's on this one right here. Hello there. Yeah, you're on my mind and in my heart. That's a pretty sentiment too, right? So that's from the good feeling stamp set. I love those big images. There's another stamp set in the mini, the holiday mini catalog that has big images like that too, or, you know, just, they take up a, um, what do I, I want to say they take up a lot of room. Like if, I don't know, I just, I love like the big, bold font of them too. I love that one, right? Sending sunshine and good feelings your way. There's the cute thank you, the hip hip hooray. And I'm just so happy for you. So great, good feeling stamp set there too. Okay, so let's get those guys out of the way. So we are going to grab Calypso Coral ink, matching our Calypso Coral cardstock, right? Okay, so we've got this one here. Actually, let's just do this little white baby, the little hello there. We're going to do that one first. So nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. We're going to press straight down and lift straight up. That's cute, isn't it, right? That little hello. I love that little, always that cursive font. I do always love that. Okay. So now, nice, again, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'm going to make sure that's going the right way. Put that down. There we go. You're on my mind and in my heart. Love that sentiment. Okay, here we go. We are going to clean this one off. Sorry, is that, that might be like kind of being like aggressive. I don't know if that's like making you dizzy watching me. I'm doing like way up here, right? I got to put that back down here. <laughs> Sorry. I get so into what I'm doing. I'm not paying attention to what you guys are seeing on the camera sometimes. Okay. Those guys scooted out of the way. All right. So let's see, we need to do, let's, we're going to do our embossing. We are using, this is the, oops, the exposed brick 3D embossing folder. I thought that was kind of fitting because, you know, we've got like a brick, um, kind of outline there um, on that designer series paper too. So let's do that and then we'll come back and do our die cutting. Okay, get that one there too. Okay, so here we go. All right, so I got the die cutting and embossing machine. We're gonna put this right down here. Okay, so again, the exposed brick 3D embossing folder. Just gonna pop that right in there okay oops and it moved so now we're going to try to make sure it's in there straight again there we go so that and that and that and that and there we go we can do our embossing and i'll show you this one because it kind of i don't want to say it gets lost but um i wanted to have that texture on the paper but it's kind of a subtle you know the calypso coral on calypso coral right can you guys see that Put my glasses on so you can see there we go yeah isn't it cool? Exposed brick. I love that look too. You know, like in homes and things, restaurants, little boutique shops. Oops, actually I still need that, don't I? Okay, so I just need different plates. That's all I should have done. All right, so we are ready to go here. Let's get this guy. Okay, oh, let's see. I'll show you these in a, well, I'll show you now or later. I think, did I show you guys these on our last Facebook Live? <laughs> oh, oh, Debbie. Um, yes, I. She's asking um, why I don't put the stickers on my stamp. So she's talking about this right here. Like I don't have um, that thing that tells me you're on my mind and in my heart. I. Um, I'm not going to call it laziness, but you know, I don't know. I do get a lot of stamp sets. Honestly, I feel like the main reason for me is I don't think that these cling mount stamps, I don't think that they stick as well onto my clear blocks once I put the labels on there. And I guess I've gotten to a point, I used to be a lot more anal, not that I'm not now, but 
I'm okay if things are, you know, maybe a little slightly askew if they're not completely like lined up. Like I know a lot of people will want to have um, that label right on here or the sticker right on there so they can make sure, you know, that they've got things going properly. But that's my main reason. Uh, two things, right, is the time that it takes to put those stickers on all of those. And then I just don't feel like it adheres to the black quite as well. Um, so that's my deal. So basically, those things all just sit in here, right? So she's asking about these stickers right here. So they just sit in here and um, don't get used, right? So there's that one, you're on my mind and in my heart. So I could have put that on there, but I never do. So yeah, it's just my thing. Everybody's, you know, does things differently. And it does drive some people crazy when they come to class. I will tell you that. They don't all, not everybody is okay with that, but they all survive somehow. So <laughs> that's good. Okay, so we are going to use our deckled rectangle. We'll use these first. Actually, let's scoot this one in here. And I have kind of this. Um, so that's the one thing when you're cutting designer series paper, right? You've got to um, you got to make sure you have enough room <laughs> for your die on there. I think I kind of cut that a little bit short, but I think we're going to be all right. Okay. Ooh, damn. Makes a lot of noise there, right? Okay. So deckled rectangles, you can kind of see it on this one. I think you can actually see it better on that one, right? So it's almost like little ripped edges, right, on those deckled rectangles. Okay, let's get these things out of the way. I need that though, right? Um, and that too. Okay, so then what I want to show you guys is my circles, right? Let's put this back here. That and that. Oh, and you know what else we need to do? Some little flowers too. We're gonna die cut um, these little flowers as well. Those are coming from, oh, are those dies in the other tub? They are, okay. These are the Sentimental Park dies. I love all of the little, the little bits that you can make. And I've actually got, I think, are they over here? Let's see, huh? I feel like. I've got one, but mm, it's this one right here. We're going to use that one too, right? So we're going to use this little guy, that one, and that one on those there. And then, wa la 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 la, these are, and I know I showed them last week, but I'm just so excited about these. These are the deckled circle. I'm trying to get those stacked on there, right? So these are the deckled circle dies. So we are using not the smallest, but the next two smallest circles. But look at how huge, right? You've got, I think we talked about this, right? How many do we have in here? We have 14 different circles in these dies. So these are in the holiday mini catalog, item code 162286. I will include those item codes all of the colors, dimensions, everything that you need to order these products and recreate the projects um, will be on my blog this afternoon, okay? So yeah, we are going to use the little one and then the, so that's the second smallest on the hello there. And then the third smallest on my little pecan pie piece there. So just cute, simple cards today. Again, I love kind of featuring the designer series paper, just finding some cute little things that kind of accessorize it, right? Um, just add a little something to it without uh, taking away, I guess, from, where are my circle dies? <laughs> I think I put them away already. Uh, not taking away from the designer series paper itself. Okay, and then let's look at these little babies too. So this one's kind of a cute... Got that one there, and we'll poke those guys out there also. Okay. Or maybe let's see if I do that. Ooh, that didn't work. Nope. Okay, we're going to have to poke it out. That's okay. All right. Stick, de -de -de -de. I'm trying not to lose things here. All right, we can get rid of this though. Okay. All righty. Oh, yeah, where's my. What do I want to use here? Oh yeah, I need all of these things, don't I? I'm realizing I don't have my stuff over here like I might want. So we're going to grab everything that we need all at once. Okay, so this is what I went for was this little thing. We're going to use this little guy to kind of pop. Well, those came out, right? But then I still need my little, there we go, my poker, my poker tool. <laughs> here we go. That little guy there, right? Okay, so cute. 
Love those little baby dies, right? All right. Okay, so we're good there. Um, I want this. I'm going to put that on there so that I don't lose it. Okay, we need some adhesive. All right, so we're going to just add our adhesive right on here. So our little hello there. Put that right on there. So this I flipped over. love using this little silicone mat so I can add a little bit of adhesive to that flower and pop it right on there like that. Okay, then I think, let's see, we're gonna add some adhesive to these guys here. So let's do this one on the inside of our card. Okay. You're on my mind and in my heart. And then our exposed brick embossing folder piece and we're going to put a bunch of adhesive. I usually just kind of do the four corners of my paper, but when it's bumpy like this, oh, and then I forgot that when it's embossed, but I think I can pop this right back up. Let's do, I think I did this when I was making the card too, because I kind of put it together and then I was like, oh, oh, I think it needs a little something else. We're going to just shimmy that right inside there because we want to run a little piece of ribbon right through there. Again, this is the Misty Moonlight Inner Braid Ribbon. Very, very pretty ribbon, right? Okay, so let's see. We are going to just kind of, okay. I'm actually going to flip this over because I need to put, I don't have any adhesive right there and right there. There we go. Okay, so we're going to flip that over. And I'm going to scoot it. Actually, it's down quite a ways, isn't it? Oops. I got it stuck on there already. Okay, so there's one side. <laughs> My finger's stuck. <laughs> okay, there we go. Run that right along there to the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to press very firmly. Make sure we're good on that. Okay. All right, now we need some, oh, I need to put this on there too, don't I, right? Okay, so we're going to add our little die cut deckled rectangle piece. We're going to put, uh, actually, that's the back side, isn't it? Because I was ready to put my dimensionals on it. There we go. It's like it didn't look, didn't look quite right. So there, we're going to put that one right there. Now we're going to flip this over. We're going to grab our dimensionals. Oops. one out of there too right okay so we're going to add these oops okay so cute I want to go to this little it's like a little bookstore or apothecary store or something so cute right okay so now this one I have this thing about so I'm going to put some adhesive on this side and I'm going to put a dimensional um kind of right there yep there we go. Okay, there. I don't want it to be, I like it to be flat, right? So not one side's not like popping up higher than the other. And then we're going to add a little bit of adhesive on our flower. And we're just going to put you right there. And then we're going to add a little bit of twine. This is the In Color Baker's Twine. I've used all of my Parakeet Party twine. Um, so those are the colors that are left in there for now. And again, like I said, I will include... Um, everything that you need to know to order to make these projects. If you order through me, you're going to get these two cards as well. Um, but then if you want to make more of them, you can do that too. But I'll include all of the product codes, colors, dimensions, everything on my blog. And that's at Gathering Ink with a case of GatheringInspiration.com. Last little step. These are the ombre matte decorative dots, right? We are going to just add a couple of these little babies to our cards. We're going to put one there. We're going to do one right there. And I'm going to do, uh, let's see, one maybe right there. And there we go. So you got a cute little hello there. You're on my mind and in my heart. Sweet little card there, right? Okay, so yeah. Sweet, simple, again, really kind of featuring that designer series paper. Isn't it so cute? I just love, love the little shop. Love the idea of that. Like, you know, want to go, want to go to that little town 
that these um, this designer series paper is, is designed after, right? Or inspired from, maybe I would say. Okay. Oop. All right. Oh, and actually, maybe I can show you guys. Is this the paper? Nope, it's a different one. Well, this is the paper we're going to use on, I was thinking this was a big sheet, but it's not because I already showed you that one with that stripey paper. But I must have used that other, that one I only had a little piece of. I must have used that. I'm sure I did. <laughs> on cards at class last month, I'm thinking. I'm trying to remember enough for sure. Okay, so this is another fun one though. Another cute little um, apothecary shop I keep wanting to say. And we've got this little hello friend. You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. I love that sentiment as well. And that comes from, this is, um, I haven't used this yet. This is the you, how, or excuse me, the Hope You Know stamp set. This is in the annual catalog. And I love, you know, whenever you can get some great sentiments like this, this um, wishing you comfort. And this one probably goes with it. It says, may you find peace in the days to come and in the loving thoughts that surround you now. Love those sentiments, right? Then we've got, that's the one I just read to you, right? Hello, friend. You are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days. There's a miss you. We've got this truly, deeply grateful. Just saying thank you doesn't seem like enough. Hope you know how much your kindness is appreciated. And then this one, right? Thinking of you today and the day after that and the day after that and the day after that and so on. So great sentiment stamp set right there. The hope you know stamp set. Okay. Let's grab, I'm just going to pull everything out here that we need. Let me tell you about dimensions on these also. Scoot that. Okay, so this one we are starting. It's a tall card. goes like that, right? So we have, this is Misty Moonlight cardstock, okay? So this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. Okay, so for our tall card, on the inside we have that basic white, always four inches, five and a quarter, right? And then I have a couple of pieces to do our stamping. Well, yeah, stamping and die cutting, right? So this is Calypso Coral cardstock for that largest deckled rectangle. We're gonna cut that right out of designer series paper. Here's some basic white and some boho blue to do our stamping and die cutting there, okay? So let's do our stamping on these two pieces again. So we're going to use Misty Moonlight ink because it matches our Misty Moonlight cardstock, right? Thank you, guys. I'm glad you're enjoying these cards, too. I just, I this paper, I couldn't not play with it. Um, like I said, we used it at class last month, made us another simple card then also because um, you don't need much with this super cute paper, right? So here's our little hello, friend. And then our sentiment. Yeah, so this is when Debbie was asking. I do have to make sure that um, I'm not upside down because that, that did happen, right? Didn't happen the other day. So that's a little bit crooked too, right? So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to angle it down a little bit. And that looks much straighter. And when we put this in the card, you're never going to know that I stamped on the back of it and didn't like how that came out. Okay, we are going to clean these things off real quick kind of do that for a moment we got that one right there okay everything looks good get rid of that baby okay and then these things oh storm okay there's some activity all right so now we are going to do our die cutting let's see let's see let's see here we go scoot these things right up here because i don't think yeah we don't have any embossing right so we can just do our die cutting all right storms on patrol apparently. All right, so we have a couple of things. Oops, I used that somewhere else, huh? <laughs> I'm like, why do I have these out? Oh, I know. Okay, there. Oops, sorry, I just hit that, didn't I? It's bouncing around a little bit. Okay, I don't need that one though, right? And then these can go. Oops, I'm like flinging dies on the floor. I got to pick them up right now before I lose them. We don't need that right now. Okay, so our deckled rectangles. Okay, so I didn't show you guys these before, but we are using these two. <laughs> yes, the chamois. That's cute, Philomena. Yes, the greatest product. So the largest deckled rectangle and then the third largest are the two that we are going to use 
right on here. I'm just gonna do a verification of that. Yep, there's the largest. And then, yeah, there's the third largest, right? Then we also, I love this die. So this one is actually from the dies that we used on last week's projects. Those were the delightful doily dies. So we're gonna use that little doily right there. So we've got the circle and then we've got that little doily, if you guys remember. And then we had the detailed doily in there too. Or maybe, I guess that was two weeks ago, not last week, but two weeks ago we used those guys. Okay, so let's see, we are gonna be able to just do, let's do this big one first, because that's all that's probably gonna fit on here, okay? So Calypso Coral cardstock, the largest deckled rectangle die. I think the little deckled rectangles too, um, they kind of, I guess, you know, it's like that exposed brick or something, kind of, you know, that little notchy, edgy look, I think works with these, the designer series paper too, really. Okay, here we go. Push that back through there. That's going to go there. Okay, you know what though? I think we are probably going to have to crank through like a couple times here. We're going to do our sentiment and I did put that kind of up at the top so I'd have room for these little babies okay so I'm gonna put these guys right there okay and then we're gonna die cut out of our designer series paper we'll do that in just a sec okay so we're gonna crank through here I'm gonna go back here so check this out because I think look at how cute that is right the little hello friend with that die all right. And these are probably, oh, I was going to say they're, I'm going to have to work to pop those out, but they all came right out. Yay. That was like very exciting. So they're all right here for me. Okay. So now I just can't lose them. I'm going to put them right here off to the side on my little silicone mat so that I don't lose anything. Okay. And then one more. So now, so, oh, I mean, look, look at how cute these little shops are, right? So that's a bigger version of, actually, that is the same. There's one right there, too. That's what we used on the last project, right? We're going to use this one right here. So we're going to lay this die right on here, and we're going to crank this through our die cutting machine. Okay, so we're going to do that right about there. Looks good. Okay. So great way to use the paper, I think, and really feature it. You could fussy cut around that. I was um, opting not to do that. That's why I went with these deckled rectangle dies. So there we go. Look at how cute that is, right? All right. Let's get this little baby out of the way. And we can start putting things together. Okay, so let's put this piece on the inside of our card. Okay, so we'll do that. Monica, did I say hi to you? Oops, <laughs> don't put that on the outside. I'm getting confused. I'm also confused. I can't remember if I said hi or not. I saw your name pop up and I'm like, did I say hi? So I'm saying hello again if I, if I didn't already say it or I'm saying hello for the first time if I did not say it. Okay, so we're gonna add this piece and I kind of put this over in the corner just a bit and we're gonna add some dimensionals on this one here with the little hello friend. Okay, put that one right about there. Then I'm also gonna put dimensionals on the back of this baby. So we'll do that. Okay, and before I forget, we are gonna use, I love this ribbon. It was a great excuse for me to use this is the pecan pie. <laughs> okay, no, I didn't say hi. The pecan pie bordered ribbon. Beautiful. This is gonna be great for your fall projects too. So what we are going to do, we're gonna add a little bit of adhesive. Let's see, like right about there and right about there. And we're gonna just, because you don't need it to go, I probably didn't even need to go in quite that far, but that's all right. So we're gonna just put that on. We're gonna loop this around and we're gonna cut like right about there. So we're just kind of, I just wanted to see a little bit of this ribbon peeking out of the edges, right? So you just see a little bit on either side right there. 
Okay, so we're gonna do that there and there. Yes, it's beautiful ribbon, isn't it, Philomena? And like I said, I think it's just gonna be so great for your fall projects, right? Pecan pie, right? It's the perfect fall sweet, right? It's making me, actually, I think Lily said she did. She made some like pumpkin cookies. She didn't think they had enough flavor, but her friends enjoyed them. Um, but it's making me want to do that now too. Oh, hmm. all right. My wheels are turning. I'm like, oh, do I have time to bake this weekend? <laughs> Although it's going to be so hot, right? So I don't know if it's quite time to bake yet, but we'll see. Okay. So we're going to add these little teeny tiny babies. I'm trying to make sure because I've got them on my silicone mat and I'm trying to flip them over so I can add adhesive to them. Okay. So we're going to just run a little bit of adhesive and if it goes off the edge, that's okay. Um, that one kind of started sticking and this is kind of what happens. Everything starts sticking a little bit, but there we go. Okay. So we are going to add, <laughs> they're like all on my fingers. The two of the bigger flowers are going to go right there. And then these little babies, I just thought were kind of fun, like sprinkled around on our card. We're going to do, maybe we'll do one right there. Right. So it's kind of fun little sprinkling of those flowers there, right? And then what do we need? Oh, we need some baker's twine. So the funny thing is, I think I had that little bow already like made to use for something else. And then I didn't end up using it. So it was like sitting right there on my um, craft table. So, okay, yeah, this, I must have broken into this because I couldn't figure out where the end was. <laughs> Clearly I've got like kind of a hot mess going here, but I think I've got enough pulled off. Does that happen to you guys? Every once in a while. Most times I can find the end and this one I couldn't so I just like cut right in somewhere and now it's like kind of all a little bit tangled up on itself but that's okay. We have enough here to make our little bow for what we're doing for this project and I'll deal with that later. Okay little mini glue dot. Let's get that fixed up there a little bit right. Okay so we're gonna just this is the easiest way I think just put that right to your mini glue dot and then add your bow. And I'm gonna trim that down, maybe just a little bit. That one and that one, there we go. Okay, how cute is that, right? So we've got, hello friend, you are the sunshine that brightens so many of my days, right? So beautiful sentiment, love, just love that designer series paper too, right? Such cute paper. So keep that in mind when you are ordering, right? If you order through me using my new September host code, the KKJQ77E, you're going to get both of these projects as a thank you from me. Your name will be entered into the drawing to win the Rustic Crate stamp set. And you also get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, these sparkly gems, plus as a thank you for your orders the whole month of September, every order over $50 that helps me get to my $400,000 in sales goal, you will also receive 10 free handmade cards in addition to all the other goodies. So keep that in mind. I would love for you to order through me if you can. I know you have your choice of demonstrators, but I truly appreciate your orders and helping me reach that goal before the end of September. So thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great Labor Day, a great holiday weekend that you get to relax and spend time with friends and family and just recharge and take care of yourself. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you two weeks from today, September 15th, that is. All right. Bye, everybody. Thank you.